Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is uh, a beautiful, gorgeous fall day here on Mackinac Island. And fall on Mackinac Island means fall cleanups, winterization, putting the whole island to bed so that uh, everything rests well, nice and clean, and that things are ready for spring and for another beautiful summer season here on the island. And one of our big, big jobs is putting all the gardens and the landscapes and everything to bed. So even though these gardens and uh, landscapes still look so good and colorful and lush and beautiful here at the Island House. It is time to pull them all out, rip everything out, and prepare for all the bulbs that have to go in. So all these sun patients, which look so gorgeous and beautiful this season, all have to come out. We've got to tear all this stuff out, compost it all down, get it out of here, plant bulbs, and we plan to do the entire Island House today in one day, including planting all the bulbs and everything. So it's gonna be sweet, It'll be a lot of fun. It's gonna jam, sun's shining. Let's dive in. All right, so hey guys, I am here with Alan Sahoyan, the general manager of the Island House Hotel. And uh, as we dive into our chores around here of winterizing and cleaning up and getting ready to kind of turn the hotel over to its winter season, Alan is ramping up with a tremendous amount of projects to get the hotel ready for next season to welcome all of you when you do come up here to Mackinac Island. So Alan is gonna tell us a little bit about all the plans and everything they have in store for this off season. So true, Jack, thank you. Um, yeah, we were coming off a wonderful season, very busy uh, tourist season this year, which is- which Record, is, right? Yes, yes, yeah, absolutely, we love it. Uh, so this, uh, this winter, uh, we're gonna be putting on a uh, new roof on the hotel which is in, yeah, which is in need. Yeah, <laughs> and, huge roof too, Yeah, whole big, hotel. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a big job. So that's, that's gonna happen. Uh, we're doing a facelift on our in, indoor swimming pool. Uh, so that's gonna be oh, great. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you you didn't know that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All we're, I know about is the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna be resurfacing it, uh, new colors, new tiles. Uh, oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, so okay. it's, gonna, it's gonna look really great. And then throughout the interior of the hotel, uh, we're going to uh, go and touch up all our rooms, and then we're redoing the hallways. So those will be uh, all redone carpeting, taking the wallpaper down, wainscoting, nice. those types of things, new lighting. Uh, nice. So it's, yeah, it's, well, it's, it's, it's going to be a good job. I've been working for the Island House now for about 10 years or so, and the Callowert family yep. has always been investing back into the hotel, back into their properties, and it shows. This place is so freaking gorgeous and amazing. And this year, a lot of people told me that the gardens of the Island House yep. were rivaling all the other best of the best gardens and properties and stuff on the island, which has been a long, a long distance uh, kind of journey for me and my team, because when we started 10 years ago on this property, it didn't look like that. No, no, no. It's definitely <laughs> been an uphill battle for you. Yeah. You know, but if you can see all the gardens in, in you're right, Jack. We get so many comments and so many well, positive reviews the place, on the space. landscaping. You know, the, just the sense of arrival that you've created. I mean, it's just wonderful it's what sweet. you do here. And we have uh, a long way to go. We're, we got plans and everything for next year. In the ooh. gardens, we're going to completely redo the back and add this really cool new bar and pizza oven oh, and pizza that, space. That was that. one more thing. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> one more thing. One more thing we're going to have uh, back at the Ice House, which is our restaurant that's behind the hotel as we're converting one of our historic barns into a bar. So, and then we're going to, uh, Jack's done some work back there and we're going to create a, a space uh, out in the garden for an outdoor pizza oven, wood burning, a uh, wood fired pizza oven. So that's going to be exciting. So Super we'll have sweet. a walk up bar, we'll yeah. have pizza, the barn barbecue. Bar. The, the <laughs> it's going to be sweet. We started on the demolition and, yeah. and diving into it and everything this fall. So we've got a lot to do to build and make that space really magical and sweet, but we'll have it done by spring, by opening. So when you guys all get here to enjoy Mackinac Island, you could have pizza, a beer in the garden and enjoy all that Mackinac has to offer. It's so true. Well, it's thank you. Sweet. Yeah.
Okay, all right everybody, so we're back out front of the island house still with our mission of um, fall cleanup, diving in and, uh, and clearing out these beds. And I've got Hannah Banana with me and we are gonna do this whole big huge front ribbon bed and while we're doing it, we're gonna talk you guys through a few tips and tricks and things that I'm seeing and thinking about that we need to be doing this fall, which will help us for beautiful, gorgeous blooms and things next spring. So this is gonna be fun. We'll dive right in and we'll start right off with pulling out this whole big ribbon of annuals that's in front of the shrub and perennial kind of foundation in this bed. Ready? Where do you wanna start, right there? So these sun patients pull out really, really, really easy. And I know that you guys are all thinking, how could you, it's so beautiful, oh my gosh. But this time of year, we are hired assassins. And so what I'm doing is I'm just popping and loosening up the, the, the soil a little bit because some of these annuals are really, really, really rooted in there pretty, pretty heartily and it takes a little bit to get them popped out. A fun little fact that I just learned from Julia is that salvia, this is playing the blues salvia. Salvia, the stem inside, look at that, is the same color as the bloom. You see that inside there? Isn't that awesome, that purple? Same color as the bloom. Sweet. I just learned that from Julia. Did you know that? Huh? No? So some of these grasses especially are like insanely well rooted considering they've just been in for one season. So that's why we are trucking right along with a shovel. I'm doing my best not to cut off Hannah's fingers. No promises. And you can see we're, we're pulling out a fair amount of soil with these plants that's coming with them with all the roots. And we're shaking off as much as we can, but we know that all this product, all this plant material, all the soil, it all goes right up into the Mackinac Island compost. It's mixed in with all the horse manure and becomes beautiful soil to be used again. So it's not really like we're wasting it. We're just recycling it, right? Then once we have a section of the bed, you know, all cleared, then I can start to see that we've got some perennials and stuff back here, some nice peonies, chives, some nice shrub action here with this wygelia and hydrangeas and stuff. And now is the time that I like to cut back a lot of this herbaceous perennial material. You don't really have to, all this stuff could totally stay until next spring. It'll die back. A lot of these nutrients and stuff will suck back into the roots and would be really healthy for the plant. Um, but it doesn't really hurt it to cut it back late in the season like this. So we like to cut all this stuff back so that we have a super nice clean bed in the spring and it gives all that soil plenty of warmth to pop all the bulbs that we plant in here. So in the back here, in the shrub and perennial kind of foundation, the back side of this bed, we've got a lot of uh, daffodil bouquets and alliums that are already in here. They've been in here for years and they do really, really well. And in the front, this whole big ribbon that is annuals, we always plant in new tulips. So this year we're gonna do a whole bunch of beautiful Pinotage tulips. It's a pink, purple, and maroon mix. That's really, really pretty mix. And that will uh, be a big, big ribbon of pure tulips that'll come up in the spring. So like I said, we've got to get this nice and clean so that this can get all raked out and prepped so that those tulips can go right in. And then in the springtime, when the tulips just start to pop and they're just starting to show, a little bit of action, we come through and we'll dust over top of these beds with about an inch of nice healthy compost, amend the beds with some slow release fertilizers and stuff so that those tulips come up right through that, they thrive, they look beautiful. Then we pull all the tulips after they've bloomed, clean it all out again, break it all out, 
and plant in annuals again for the big summer show. So it's like a constant cyclical process with these big showy resort-like gardens that are you know, always going through this transition. But if we don't pull them out now, a week from now or less, we're supposed to get our first hard frost and all these annuals would just totally turn to mush and they kind of like get <laughs> squishy and, and just gross and it's really hard to pull them out. Um, when you do pull them out after they've been frosted really hard, they, they just sort of fall apart in your hand and all the roots are left in there. So it just, it makes a lot harder process for us and we don't have time for that. And <laughs> we don't want to be working out here in the freezing cold and the wet and everything like that. So even though it's hard to see all these beautiful blooms going and being pulled out, uh, there is reason for it. You know, they do have to go. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys is up in these hydrangeas here. These, uh, these are hydrangea arborescence, or uh, the common is the Annabelle hydrangea. Um, and these guys, when they turn into a big, huge mass like this, they're actually dividable, like a perennial. Uh, hydrangea arborescence can be divided. So I'll grab the hedge trimmer, cut these all down, clean these right up, because they bloom on all new woods. So these get cut right down to the ground in the fall. So I'll grab the trimmer right now and cut these all right down, and I'll show you how easy they are to divide and move around, which a lot of people don't know, which is a really, really cool um, little fact, fun fact about hydrangea arborescence. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, that big huge bank of uh, hydrangeas that we had back here, um, we cut them right down to the ground like this because they bloom and grow, you know, with all new wood. They're like a mostly herbaceous hydrangea. Um, and so because of that, these are really, really unique in that they kind of spread in this way and you can actually divide them. So I can, with a you know, nice sharp shovel and really, you really want to do a nice clean cut and stab down around it. But you can see this clump here that is kind of separating from the herd. And I'm going to get all the way around that thing and see that how it's popping right up for me. So this is a nice thin little clump of hydrangea that I can take elsewhere in the garden, put out back wherever I want. And this is a really nice arborescence hydrangea. I could divide probably, you know, 20 of them out of here and I'd still have that big beautiful bank back here next summer, no problem. And I can kind of keep it in check because as you can see, they do kind of spread down a little bit. So I can divide this piece right here out, that piece, and kind of keep them in check and keep them in this back row like we really want. So, pretty fun. Stab it into the ground. No, you can't stab it in. You have to just step up onto it and, and last as long as you want. But, but, but try to really, you know, yeah. You can't stab into the ground. I'm you not, cheated. It's not, it's You're already not. cheating. All right, it's right there. Not. Whatever. You put it right back. Okay. All right. Whoa, okay, that was a practice. It's hard. Huh? <laughs> okay. No. No. Whatever. Second is like one, two. Okay, ready? One. Oh, two. I didn't even. Mean that to was do the that. good though. Yeah, okay. Say Mary Bee's good at it. She's really good at it. She can do eight seconds. One. <laughs> but I lasted significantly longer than you did. One. Okay. It's harder than you think. Alright. Alright, here we go. He's gonna get up like seven feet. Yeah, but I'm like. No, you can't tall. stab it in somebody else's hole. I'm like seven feet tall. One. Two. <laughs> that was pretty good. He got like 2.3. One. I'm just, I'm just two. So big. You know, it just yeah, sinks right in. Six inches. That's fine. One, that's what you need to do. two, three, oh. four, five, six. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was really good. That was really, really good. No, you gotta get it in right away. 
<laughs> that was the heat. So you threw it to the side. That's what's up. That's what's up. So another really important aspect of winterizing and fall cleanup to put all these beautiful cottages to bed is blowing out the sprinkler systems. Uh, we haul around this huge compressor with the horses, of course, and, uh, and blow out all these systems with compressed air. And it's really all about volume. You gotta have a big, big, big compressor to blow these systems nice and dry because in the winter, which is right around the corner, it gets super, super cold. The frost gets deep and any water left in the ground in these pipes would explode and um, we'd have broken valves, broken pipes, broken a lot of things. And, um, and it ain't pretty. I've, uh, I've been tasked with fixing a sprinkler system that was not winterized properly and you basically have to redo the whole thing. It's really not fun. So uh, we're blowing out systems like crazy on the island. We have about 60 of them that we do and take care of. Uh, so it's a big, big, big task that uh, Paul and Doug are doing this year and they're doing a great, great job. Um, and this one, beautiful Crossroads, is getting winterized right now. And I just noticed here that this absolutely gorgeous delphinium, even though the gardens, you can see these ferns are super past their prime, but look at how gorgeous this is mm. absolutely stunning, 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 stunning. Could go on and on and on about things like that, but the crew hasn't been through here yet. The big fall cleanup team, uh, which this year is all ladies. So the girl power um, will be flying through here, cutting all this stuff back, raking it out, blowing it out. And this property takes a big, full, full, full day of uh, all hands on deck but we'll get this all cleaned up. And it's, this one's really funny because as you're cleaning it up and you get it all clean, and then it seems like you turn around and there's like a thousand leaves right back in the lawn because there's just so many big, gorgeous old sugar maples here. But we get it as clean as we possibly can for the fall. Then in the spring, we come back and do a really nice detailed spring cleanup, fertilization, pruning, cleaning, trimming get it all ready for the season, everything spotless, planting flowers, da, 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 and the party goes on and on and on. On Mackinac Island and anywhere really, your work is never done in the garden, but if you love it and you're super passionate about it, it's not really work, it's just a beautiful thing. It's a way of life, and the garden is, uh, is a wonderful teacher. All right, so once a bed is all cleaned out and prepped and everything like that and been taken from summer now to fall, it is time to put the bulbs in. And we are using this beautiful, beautiful twist and plant auger from Proven Winners. These things are kick booty. And um, we've got, we dug holes first in about six to seven foot intervals. And those are gonna be for these bouquets of hyacinths. Each hole has um, six or seven hyacinths in it, so a nice big, puff of that purpley scented goodness. And then in between the hyacinths, this whole band here will be tulips. So I'm gonna use this auger and just drill a whole bunch of holes in kind of a pattern there. And then Hannah's gonna follow behind me, drop tulips in, and then Sarah's gonna be pushing the tulips down in, and then Julia's gonna be raking it all out. So we'll be 
flying right through this bed to get all the tulips in and then it'll all be raked out and clean and smooth and the bulbs will be planted and we'll be done. Right? Sweet! Let's do it. Okay, so as I said earlier in the video, I was so stoked and, and I knew for sure that we would get the whole fall cleanup done and get all the bulbs in in one day. And you guys were all probably thinking, yeah, right, there's a huge amount to do. There's no way they're gonna get all that done. Well, we did, and it's almost the end of the day, but we got it all done. We're finishing up, planting the last of the bulbs and everything like that. These girls totally crushed it out. And we have plenty of time to go do another job still. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I thought you guys would like throw down your tools and quit, but see the smiles, they're stoked. We're gonna keep grinding and keep going, keep rocking on Mackinac Island. All right, so I hope you guys all enjoyed what it takes to uh, do some of the cleanup and winterization and things like that of the gardens of Mackinac Island. We thought it'd be a little fun to take y'all around for the ride and um, Anyway, I hope you're all having a good day. And um, oh, right now, as we speak, we're here in front of the Island House Hotel. It's beautiful. We're planting all these bulbs and everything. And I look out, I'm looking out at Lake Huron and the wind and the waves and everything. And there's this huge, beautiful thousand foot freighter rolling by through the waves. So I'm gonna say goodbye, but I'm gonna have Tyler slowly turn around and show you guys this epic, awesome, beautiful ship cruising through the straits because it looks beautiful and it's sweet and that's how we do things. We just roll with whatever happens here on the island and it's freaking gorgeous, so you gotta see it. So anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. You guys check out the freighter. Have a good day, night, whatever it is. Click that bell, subscribe and everything so you can see all of our awesome videos that we have coming your way and um, have an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers, enjoy the freighter, see ya.